what is collective consciousness it's a state where one effortlessly knows the absolute truth let's understand this with the help of an example here are a few compasses each of them have a different size color and make but they still point to the same direction the north how do the compasses know that north is in this direction were they taught by someone were they brainwashed or given strict instructions that this is north or did they discuss amongst themselves or perform some scientific experiments to understand the truth no all these things are done by us humans in our pursuit of truth because we are ignorant the compasses are not ignorant they know the truth because they can sense it there is a magnetic field that runs along the entire surface of the earth because after all the earth is a giant magnet this field can be sensed by every compass on the earth no matter where it is and that is why we can say that north is an absolute truth it's not a subjective truth or a personal truth it's an objective truth and the compasses are collectively conscious of this truth but what if the compasses couldn't sense north what if compasses were like us they would have said something like this is my north and that is your north so let's agree to disagree and respect each other's opinions or everybody has different norths nobody is wrong this is diversity which is our greatest strength or north is just a social construct created by the elite to oppress the rest of us there are no directions or north is not one direction it's a spectrum of directions all directions are north there is no south this and many more such interesting statements which might seem inclusive progressive mature or revolutionary but in reality they are quite childish because they arise from ignorance when we don't know the truth we think we analyze and we form our own opinions and depending upon our personal experiences our faiths and cultural backgrounds each one of us has a different perception of truth and this perception can be at times very different from the absolute truth the compasses on the other hand are fully aware of the absolute truth so they don't argue they don't fight they just effortlessly know the truth because the magnetic field of the earth is a common force that flows through all of them and unites them likewise there also exists a force which unites us humans this force tells us what is good and what is bad what is beautiful and what is ugly and the best part is that this truth can be felt on our fingertips if we are connected to it so how do we connect to it let's come back to the compass how does the compass connect to the magnetic field of the earth firstly the needle of the compass is balanced on its center and because it is balanced it is free to move on the other hand when the needle is not balanced when it is biased it is not free it is stuck at the same place it can no longer point to north this means that freedom can only come from balance the same applies to us we all believe that we are free because the law of the land tells us that we are free but in reality only those who have a balanced approach to life are free those who go to the extremes those who are strongly opinionated those who are prejudiced are not at all free those who neither harm others nor themselves are truly free so being free or being balanced is the first criteria to achieve the state of collective consciousness secondly the most important requirement is that the needle should be magnetic only then will it align itself with the magnetic field of the earth instead if the needle is non magnetic meaning if it is just a random piece of metal there is no way it can sense the magnetic field of the earth it just keeps moving randomly even though it is free it is balanced it still doesn't know where north is so what's the use of this balance similarly those humans who are balanced who are neither too aggressive nor too submissive are definitely free no doubt about that but just like the compass they don't know the right direction they don't know what is good and bad hence 
they often make mistakes and as a result suffer to know the right direction in life there has to be some inner guiding force for the compass it is its own magnetism which guides it which aligns it with the magnetic field of the earth for us this force is the kundalini shakti which exists within each one of us generally it is dormant inactive but once it is activated it starts to flow through us and makes us receptive to the absolute truth and the only way to activate this force is through self realization self realization is a very simple process that elevates us and makes us collectively conscious so just like these compasses let us also get connected to the absolute truth so that we can always know the right direction in life